Students, in this video, I'm going to discuss the perfect number program. Before that, I want you all to like, subscribe, and share this uh, uh, this video. And uh, here, perfect number in Java. So a number is equal to the sum of its factors except the number is a perfect number. So you can see number is six. The factors are one, two, three because number itself is also the factor, but we will not include the number. So number is six. So only one, two, and three have been taken. And when we perform the sum of these three factors, we get six, which is equal to the number. All right. And the basic idea of this program is that whenever we take, suppose number is N and the value is six right now. So what we need to do, we have to check its divisibility with one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six. And you will end if the remainder is zero, if the remainder is zero, then the number will be called what? what factor okay so number this is a common statement everywhere that means how to generalize that we have to generalize this by writing n mod n mod any variable i can take say i i take if it is equal to zero all right so i is the factor so here one is uh, is able to divide that so it is a factor then two factor three yes Factor four does not give, so it is not a factor. Five is also not the factor. Six is a factor, right? Six is a factor, but it will not be included because the program says or the concept says except the number, except the number itself. Let me make it clear. All right. So and then I perform the sum. So what are the major steps? I have to repeat this. So loop is required. And what is changing here? The value of i one, two, three, four, five, six. So in this case, I have to start the loop from one, go up to the number, right? But if I go up to the number, what will happen? Number will also be included. So I have to exclude that. So it will be less than the number. All right. So loop for this is going to be for i n t i equal to one i less than what number? Okay. And then I have to update one is then two, then three, then four. So I plus plus and inside the loop, what will be there? This statement with the condition if n mod I equals to zero, if it is a factor. So that means I need a variable to store that. So S equal to S plus I, that is the sum of the factor. All right. So these are the statements. So if is over and then I close what for loop for is also over. So I uh, write the program now class perfect class perfect then public void check public void check and here I send the number n. Okay. Now loop variable is very much here declared. I want S also to be there. So I write here int S equal to zero that will store the sum of the factors. All right. After that student, when this task is over, this is the end of the loop End of loop. When this is over, then what do we need to do? We have to check what to check if number is equal to the sum. Okay, then we write here system dot out dot print ln and I write here n is a perfect perfect number. All right, we close it here. Curly brace is closed. Else, what to write here? System dot out dot print ln n is not a perfect number. All right. After this, we close else, then we close function, and then we close the class. I hope everybody has the clear idea. Thanks, everyone.